In the past few weeks, there have been three major artists who have uploaded a song. Taylor Swift, Miley Cyrus and Post Malone. And here's the thing about Taylor Swift and Miley Cyrus. They uploaded a song that had a social message in it. Now, I'm not all against a social message. You do you, okay? There have been many artists in the past who have made songs or who have made art that is for the sake of sending a social message. But you have to do it really cleverly. And the point of the social message just goes down the drain when you know that they're just making this song which has a social message because they know that it's gonna sell. And this is what I like about Post Malone. He has an individuality to himself and his art, his music also has sort of like an individuality to itself. What's sauce to me is just, you know, your individuality. Mm -hmm. Sauce. It's important to be an individual and, you know, just do what you want to do and, and what separates you from everybody else. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's important to to be you in a world where everybody wants to be somebody else. That's the easiest thing you can do is do you. He doesn't care about pandering to anyone, okay? He is just doing his own stuff. And that is what makes him really likable and that is what makes me want to listen to him more. So, welcome to the very first episode of Pedantic Reviews. Now, uh, before I listen to this song, I'm gonna make a few predictions. And the predictions are that the song will be in 4x4. The chords will be not that complex okay just your simple chord from the major or a minor scale uh, it will have no social message in it <laughs> that's obvious um, it's gonna be true to the post malone vibe okay it's gonna have the production elements because mainly what post malone is is what the post malone sound is is basically being creative in production okay and uh, the way he uses synths and uh, everything it's kind of really well produced in a way so it's a really unique post malone type vibe so i think that is still gonna remain in this song so now let's go ahead and listen to it okay umg umg is the copyright owner of this song so i'm just gonna fast forward the reaction because even if you're listening to the song you're pausing and commenting umg doesn't care you can just play like two to three seconds of the song and they're just gonna claim it okay and this is sort of like my take my review on it and i don't want it to get claimed so uh, here it goes <clears throat> Here's the thing about Post Malone videos, they're actually always really well made, okay? They're really well made. So, so it's sort of like uh, Post Malone has turned into a zombie and now he's gonna sing about, I don't know. That's a whole Michael Jackson thing. See, this is, this is, this is why I love Post Malone. This is actually a really good song. And this is a song that I will listen to it again and again. It's, 
it's sort of like the song that when you're really drunk and you're you're missing your ex or something like that <laughs> you can really listen to it it's see that's 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 the thing about post malone it's it is the dude is he knows the vibe he knows the vibe and he has this individuality to himself and his music it's just it's just it's just something that because he is doing it because he actually feels it and then when you go on and listen to it you actually feel it too it's a really good song This is a really good song. I'm going to get drunk and listen to it again. Okay, this is this is actually really good. Well done Post Malone. Okay. I was sort of going to make a whole thing where I would comment about uh the the what type of chords he's using, but <laughs> I just it's just that Sometimes there is some type of music that you just listen to and you just don't care about the whole thing. There's like a quote from Feynman, Richard Feynman is a physicist. You guys might know about Richard Feynman. There was this guy he showed Richard Feynman a uh, rose and he said that, "Look, uh when you look at this flower, what you do is you go into the nitty-gritty, you look at it scientifically and that just ruins it and that just takes all of the beauty out of it and to it richard feynman said that uh, that's not the case okay it's because i know how it works and i know the no how it, it's because i know how it works and I know more about it that makes it more beautiful for me. Uh but what I think is that as a musician when you listen to a song and uh, you start picking about because that's sort of like my job. I would listen to a song and I just start picking about uh, some of the stuff in the song. Uh but when it's really good i just forget about whole the whole thing where i'm trying to uh, know what the rhythm is trying to know what chords are being used okay trying to hear the melody and everything it just it makes you feel something and this song was it this song made me feel something okay uh, so the, yeah <laughs> This is a really good song, okay? So, if you guys want me to listen to more songs like these and review them and uh so I'll do it, okay? But yeah, I am a huge fan of Post Malone, so that's why I decided to do something like this. So, yeah. Take care. And I still don't have a catchphrase. Bye. <laughs>